Pull the plug. Abort mission. Hey, hey, what's going on? This is BQ. This is the number one place to be for the Impact Wrestling fan. The Impact Lounge. So I just finished watching the match from last night. Tennille Dashwood versus Kiera Hogan and Madison Rain. We all knew what was going to happen here. We all knew she was going to defy the odds and win the match. She's 2-0 versus them so far in one-on-one -on -one competition. Both matches, Kiera and Madison both carried the match. Like Tennille Dashwood, I really do. And I don't know if anyone was more excited than I was when she was signed by the company. I thought it was a fucking great signing, and I still do because I do believe in star power, and I'm not someone who has a big issue with former WWE people coming over to Impact. As long as they bring something to the table, they're not just there for a paycheck. As long as they have some potential, they want to be a part of Impact Wrestling and do something big and special and important, I'm all for that shit. Yo, that match last night stunk. With the exception of that power bomb in the corner, there was nothing there that I cared for. Hogan is the most improved wrestler on the roster, in my opinion, in 2019. And I still think Madison Rain is very serviceable in the ring. I don't think there's a whole lot of chemistry between the three of them. Madison doesn't hit very hard. Tennille doesn't hit very hard. You know, so when you have two people like that in a match together, it doesn't look real. And I feel like there's so many sloppy spots in that match that I mean just to look at the highlights on YouTube just the highlights where they try to highlight the best parts of the match like there was at least three or four moves that were sloppy I have no problem with them eventually putting the knockouts championship on Tennille Mataya has been a really good champion and oh this is not the way for her to go down I think the match of Bound for Glory is going to be good though because Taya hits hard she's a hard hitter she's not like I said when you have Madison versus Tennille and they're both kind of you know, slapping each other and the moves don't look like they hurt. Taya knows how to make that shit look like it hurts. So there's going to be a better underdog story told. I want to, maybe not underdog story, but there's going to be a better story told with this match. Yo, seriously, abort mission. Turn to Neil Dashwood heel after Bound for Glory is over. You have no choice. This is the closest thing we have seen to Aaron Rex. It is clear that the company wants to push her as a top baby face star. You don't have Allie around anymore. And Tessa's not wrestling in the division. So you want to push her as a baby face star. It's not going to work. Impact Wrestling, I'm telling you, the crowd is going to turn against her by the end of the tapings following Bound for Glory if you do not turn her ass heel. Your thoughts in the comments, folks. If you think this is working, if you think this experiment of bringing her on and throwing her right away in the knockouts title picture, I mean, she... Ugh... Oh. I think she could have stood to have a couple enhancement talent matches. I think she could have maybe cut some better promos. I think she could have had a decent feud first. You know, even Tessa Blanchard didn't come and challenge for the Knockouts Championship right away. She had a good feud with Ali first. The way they ended that match was, if they would have ended it after the powerbomb in the corner, I could have lived with that. But the way the match ended was, oh, it was awful. Her and Madison both deserve better than what they've gotten out of this feud with her. I'm telling you, as someone who is a fan of Tennille Dashwood and always has been, she is her best as a heel. Her babyface promos and just her way she carries herself as a babyface is not good. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not. She can be a mean girl heel. Like what you're trying to do with Madison and Kier, like she can do that. She's good at that. Hell, you can put the three of them together. But I am telling you, if they put the Knockouts Championship on her, the crowd is going to turn against her. Twitter is going to turn against her. Facebook's going to turn against her. Instagram, everybody, be cute. Let me know in the comments, seriously, like what you think. If this, I'm just completely off base here and they should just keep going forward with her as a baby face, then let's see what happens. But I think it's a bad, 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 bad idea. I would turn her heel sooner than later. This is the Impact Lounge. Subscribe if it's your first time and I'm out.